A battery replacement is one of the most common repairs for an iPhone. There are numerous kinds of batteries with uneven qualities on the market. It is difficult for the general consumers to tell the differences. If you buy inferior batteries, there is every likelihood that you will encounter phenomena like draining fast, spicy pillow, overheating, etc. What's worse, Apple has locked the batteries of the 2018 models and higher ones. Third-party battery replacement will trigger the genuine battery message alert. That is bad news for both consumers and the repair industry. Based on our rich experience throughout the years, today we will walk you through some basic knowledge of iPhone batteries. We hope to help you know more about iPhone batteries, and select the batteries that suit you most. First of all, let's check the structure of a battery. A battery is made of a cell and a PCB board. The PCB board is the battery management system where the battery data is stored. It is mainly used to effectively monitor the charge and discharge state of the battery and in some conditions turn off the charge and discharge circuit to prevent damage to the battery. There are different BMS boards which include OEM and aftermarket boards. Common aftermarket boards include DI, Thongying, Ziwang, and MCU. The cell is where the energy is stored, which mainly includes anode, cathode, separator and electrolyte. Original iPhone cells are manufactured by Sony, ATL and LG. DSA, Sun Wada and other factories just assemble the batteries. Gunfeng, Vekin, Lifeon, and Dian Mao are currently main aftermarket cell manufacturers. With regards to quality, premium aftermarket cells are as good as the original ones. After understanding the structure of the battery, let's dive right in the assembly process of the aftermarket battery. When the cells have arrived, the factory runs a sampling inspection of the voltage and size. Unqualified cell batches are returned at this time. The workers then remove the film on the cell and process the BMS board. Once the cells are sent to the workshop, further voltage and internal resistance testings are conducted. Only qualified cells will the machine cut the tabs. Next, the machine welds the BMS board to the cell with a laser. Since the BMS board is not fully installed to the battery, the BMS board needs to be fixed by shaping, double tape insulation, bracket, and top tape installation. Then workers perform a visual inspection on the battery. As the internal parameters of the battery will change after the above operations, the battery needs to go through further testing, which include internal resistance, voltage, capacity, overcharge, overdischarge, etc. A professional equipment will inflate and deflate the battery to check if the battery has leakage. Batteries that pass all tests are finally packaged and stored. We have introduced the battery production process. The next part is to compare different mainstream iPhone batteries. We take the iPhone 10 battery as an example for comparison. Mainstream iPhone batteries on the market include OEM, DI, Thongying, Ziwang, MCU, and high capacity ones. We will divide these batteries into two groups for comparison. The first group is standard capacity versus high capacity. In the first place, we compare their weight and size. The high capacity battery is 3 grams heavier than the standard capacity one. The size of the high capacity battery is also bigger. A lot of consumers are concerned if the high capacity battery will be too large to fit in the phone. After testing, we find that the high capacity battery can be installed perfectly without any compromises. That's because modern cell production technology is used to produce old models batteries, which increases the energy density while keeping the size to an acceptable scale. For the actual capacity, we measure with a battery testing system. After over 10 hours of charging and discharging process, we find that the actual capacity of the high capacity battery reaches around 3000 mA, which is about 270 mA more than the standard battery. The battery life of the high capacity battery therefore is longer than the standard battery. The second group for comparison is OEM, DI, Ziwang, Thongying, and MCU. We will compare them in terms of the workmanship. As you can see, the OEM board is well made. Each chip is evenly sealed to avoid oxidation and prolong the service life. 
while aftermarket ones feature poor workmanship with uneven sealing and solder joints because of the cost. In addition, the OEM board uses original pure copper connectors and thicker cables, which can effectively reduce the internal resistance. The aftermarket boards come with uneven quality material that can increase the internal resistance. Internal resistance can increase joule heat, which not only consumes power, but also increases potential safety hazards due to a temperature rise. The internal resistance needs to be as small as possible. For the board IC, OEM board uses original TI power management IC, bringing about accurate measurement and small size. Aftermarket DI batteries also use the original TI IC, featuring accurate measurement and small size as the OEM one. However, as the cost of DI chip is high, there are a number of fake products on the market. Ziwang, Thongying, and MCU batteries use self-made IC that is inferior to original DI IC. The drawback of the aftermarket BMS boards is that a major system update may result in unavailable and inaccurate battery data, malfunction fast charging, etc. In fact, a good or bad battery is decided by the cell and BMS board it uses instead of the brand of the battery itself. We recommend you to select iPhone batteries based on these two factors. To conclude, high capacity batteries has a long battery life with affordable cost and seamless installation. TI batteries boast high stability and superior user experience. As mentioned at the beginning, Apple has locked the batteries of the 2018 models and higher ones. If you get your battery changed from a non-authorized Apple service center, you will see a genuine battery message alert. For the 2018 iPhone models, to get rid of the alert, you need to replace the cell and weld the original BMS board to the new battery cell. Then rewrite the battery data with a programmer. For models after the 2018 iPhone, Apple has changed the authentication key. To get rid of the alert has therefore become a little more complex. You still need to replace the cell and weld the original BMS board to the new battery cell. The extra step is to attach a tag on Flex to the BMS board to bypass Apple's authentication key via a programmer. For models after 2018 iPhone, you can just replace the cell and keep the data unchanged. There is no need for a tag on Flex and the genuine battery message alert will just go away. Both solutions to getting rid of the alert are technically demanding. We have published detailed videos on both solutions. Please feel free to click the links in the comments section to watch. When it comes to selecting iPhone batteries, Reiwa has always been strict and cautious. As factories use different raw material, IC and manufacture process, the quality of the battery produced naturally has its advantages and disadvantages. With long-term in-depth cooperation and strict quality testing over the years, we are able to help customers select the best products that meet their quality and cost needs. Because of this, our products guarantee a low defect rate. Please don't hesitate to contact our account managers if you would like to test our batteries. Thank you for watching.